What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, James, to the O. You know what? Out of all these NBA players that played, ever played, that's currently in right now, I'm just going to focus on who's currently in. I making this video because someone asked me who you think is the most underrated NBA player today. I'm going to say that guy that plays in Atlanta for Atlanta Hawks. He once played at University of Louisiana Monroe. He, he did do he did do a twenty and twenty game before, probably about six eight six nine. He could play four of the five positions. He reminds me a little bit of LeBron, but he's not LeBron. Paul Millsap. To me, he is the most underrated NBA player today. In 2015 season, the year LeBron came back to Cleveland, this guy. Almost made history. To lead your team in five major statistic categories. That's points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals. He led in points, rebounds, steals, and blocks. But Jeff Teague, his teammate, led in assists for the team. And a couple times he was named NBA Player of the Month of the Eastern Conference. The first time in history that a team of a starting five was granted players of the month. Usually be one individual, not two. So he led in four or five categories, but he still made history though, joining LeBron, Sky Pippen, Kevin Garnett as the members to lead their team in at least four of the five. Even though those other three guys I mentioned did five of five instead of four of five like Paul did. That boy Paul Millsap is pretty nice. One time in the playoffs he's playing against Boston Celtics. 40 point game in Boston was Ball Lynn. Don't nobody really talk about him too much. That's what happens when you're under the radar, underrated, not all in the social media or even to the media, wherever, media. It's like we see him, but then again, we don't. Paul Millsack can have 40 points three straight nights. It's not going to really get talked about. But let someone, a big time, big name superstar, do 40 points three straight nights. That's going to get blew up on ESPN Sports Center. Yeah, I think Paul Millsap is very underrated. The dude got all around game, take you off the dribble, pull up jumper, got three ball, post up. I didn't think he had hops like that. I see him do a, a chase down block, and that dude got hops. That dude got up there. Man. He plays good defense. He can guard the perimeter, guard the post. He can body you up. I saw him trying to go toe for toe with LeBron James in 2015 East Finals. He did good for the most part, but at the end, you know who won that. I don't knock him for even trying, but hey. He did decent against LeBron, guarding him. He did his thing on the offensive end, too. Paul Mills has very good. That's why I think he's the most underrated NBA player today. And those are my reasons why. The boy got all-around game. If you really watch him play, you'd be like, yeah, that James to the old dude is right. He is underrated. And he is good. Just saying. What's your opinion on this? And who do you think is the most underrated basketball player in the NBA today? Why don't you like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. You tell me who you think is the most underrated NBA player.